We went behind the scenes at the Cardiff Food Bank project, where we found all the supplies stacked up to the ceiling. The charity has been picked to be in partnership with Netmums, a campaign that will run in the lead up to Red Nose Day. The food bank helps support those suffering with money problems and people who face the reality of not being able to feed themselves or their families. Well, like sometimes we'll get a little child come up to us, they spent their pocket money on a tin of peas, a tin of potatoes and maybe a sweet and they donate it. We're finding now an increasing number of people in a short term crisis and the food bank is literally a lifeline. We've had people say if it wasn't for the food bank they would have committed suicide. Food is donated by supermarkets, schools and churches in the local area. It is then sent to warehouses, like this one in Ely. Volunteers from all sorts of backgrounds get involved and help out. If we were to come first, and it's obviously something I, I think about a little bit, but I try not to think too much, then £80,000 would be an excellent deposit towards a larger warehouse. Services can range from giving out soup to a one-night stay in a bus to keep warm. There is always something provided, day and night. Basically, the... They help me as much as they can. They, they, they provide me with food every time they can. And to be honest, there's, there's a lot of nice people, you know, and they do help out as much as they can. The voting begins on Monday and will determine whether Cardiff will win the most votes and grab the cash prize of £80,000. Owen Shepherd, Atrium News, Ely.